हेलो स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ड्रॉप अ लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट दिस इज डिक्टेशन नंबर 19 एंड 20 ऑफ द मॉडल स्पीड डिक्टेशन वॉल्यूम नंबर 1 ऑन द स्पीड ऑफ 100 वर्ड्स पर मिनट स्टार्ट सर मच हैज बीन सेड इन रिगार्ड टू लैंड रिफॉर्म्स आई डू नॉट वांट टू से एनीथिंग ऑन दिस पॉइंट many states particularly kerala are making progress in this matter but in the northern states i am told people have thousands of acres of land the coffee and rubber plantations have been exempted from the provision of the sealing laws a person can have thousands of acres under sugar cane coffee or rubber but he cannot have coconut and acranut plantations this disparity should be removed i would also like to draw the attention of the honorable minister to the demand of kerala and other southern states to constitute a coconut board the kerala government have sent many representations to the government of india this is one of the matters pending with the government of india this proposal is now under the consideration of the government of india which may kindly be considered another thing i would like to say is about irrigation there should be a national scheme for irrigation the states are now free to formulate their own schemes for major and minor irrigation i would appeal to the government to have a national scheme for irrigation the farmers should also be saved from drought and floods we must have a national policy for this also sir as you know the present irrigation of the country depends mostly on the major medium and minor irrigation projects they are good in themselves some of them are multi purpose river projects which serve the purpose of irrigation of lakhs and lakhs acres of land serve the purpose of generating electricity as also solve the problem of floods but the bigger the projects the longer the gestation period as has rightly been said by the agriculture minister certain data have to be collected projects reports have to be prepared and then the projects have to be gone through that will take a very long time and by the time these things materialized i am sure it will have taken another 15 years and by that time the population of the country will have reached at least 90 millions so what i would plead for is that let these major medium and minor irrigation works continue but along with it we have to take into consideration another factor which i am afraid has not been touched by any member at least i have not heard it that nature has been bounteous to mankind it has been bountiful in the matter of supply of water too mother earth has enough water in her bowl may i plead with the agriculture minister that along with these major medium and minor irrigation projects to take into consideration to have lakhs and lakhs of dug wells throughout the country i am sure 
that will solve our problem much quicker and more economically too. I do not know if members are aware of this piece of news. It was published in the Statesman sometimes back in New Delhi also. Sir, I welcome the increased allocation for irrigation. The other day I put a question and I got a reply that about rupees 500 crores are being spent in the current budget on minor irrigation schemes. But I was sorry to note that only rupees 10 lakhs have been allocated for a back state like Himachal Pradesh. I was also sorry to note that the Honorable Minister is ignorant of the conditions in Himachal Pradesh. When I wanted to know the reasons for this meager allocation, he replied that tube wells cannot be dug in Himachal Pradesh. I am sorry he is not aware of the fact that Himachal Pradesh has greater potential for minor irrigation. It has many water channels. Therefore, I am not able to understand this meager allocation of rupees 10 lakhs against the total expenditure of rupees 500 crores in one year. So, I would request the minister to look into this aspect. Sir, I read an article which says that the 20-point program has generated a new spirit, a new vigor in the life of our nation. And in the present context, these directive principles of the state policy which appeared to be dead letters or half dead letters at least, now appear very much to be full of life. I would submit that the difference between what was happening before June and what is happening now is essentially that quite a number of programs were only on paper previously and now whatever government decided today is being carried out ruthlessly and the result is that in all sectors of the economy we have succeeded even in exporting steel in the year 1975-76. The 30% inflationary rise in the first of 1974 has been effectively controlled. Now, I would submit one more point. There may be mistakes here and there. But I appreciate the efforts of the government not because of any performance in the physical targets but because of the psychological change it has brought about by the proclamation of emergency. Democracy, socialism and secularism which are fundamental to our country were going to be shaken up by the disruptive forces. There has been a check and the government has been able to march forward with this massive 20-point program announced by the Prime Minister. Sir, inspired by the declaration made by our Prime Minister, we have already distributed 2 lakh acres of land and it we have a scheme to provide built houses to 5 lakh houseless people. In the course of last year, 2500 houses have already been built and distributed and in the course of next 5 years, we propose to construct 5 lakh houses at a cost of rupees 15 crores. Sir, 
I would submit that the rural economy will change for the better if we give home sites to the homeless people, if we provide credit to the rural cultivator and if we fix the minimum wages for them.